up guys uh, today I came and purchased everything we're gonna need to start on the car I got Bondo primer plastic tape razor blades uh, yeah that's about it I hit it with uh, 80 because I'm gonna put a uh, body filler all over it a real thin coat not a lot because it'll need a lot it's actually pretty straight <laughs> um, but I'm right now I'm going home because I forgot my spatulas and uh, how am I gonna mix a bondo and how am I gonna play if I don't have a spatula right so I'm gonna go home do that go back and hopefully get that ready for tomorrow to be able to sand and primer it but there was a hole right in the, the wheel well uh, the fiberglass was cracked so I'm gonna fiberglass that up let that dry and sand it and then put body filler all over that we'll see how that goes stay tuned I'm back. I went and got the spatula and got some other stuff. I got some sandpaper also for the DA. Well, anyways, I came back. How I told you guys about that hole. Here's the hole. You can see right there. So what I did, I drilled these holes right here. So whenever I put the fiberglass, this seeps through. I'm gonna put some fiberglass over and back here too. That way it's stronger hold. So it grips through all these holes. And yeah. That's what, I, that's what I'm doing right now. As soon as that's dry, while that's drying, I'm gonna start uh, glazing all this up. So that, that'll be it probably for today. guys so far this is what I've done I'm waiting for it to dry it's it's getting there it's pretty 80 82 degrees out today that's that's so far that's what I've done right now I'm working on this right here setting all this down it's rough texture yeah, hopefully that that dries up real it's still a little bit gummy. When that dries up, I'll sand that down and uh, go from there. Fill in more low spots. If there's any, but I think I got them all. The thing that I'm trying to do, I'm trying not to apply a thick layer of Bondo right here. There's a real thin layer. As you can see, you can still see some red right here. It's a real thin layer. And that's what you want. You don't want to, to build it up. Then it'll crack. The thinner the better, and uh, the easier it is to work. Well, yeah, just this thing drying, and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, well, I sanded this right here. All of this right here. I sanded that, that up, but it's really textured right here. I don't know if you can see that real good, but it's all textured. I'm gonna have to fill that in. I might put a skim coat over this. I'm gonna go ahead and sand all this right here. All this red off right here. So I can put a little skim coat of a Bondo. And this is the type of Bondo I use. Z-Grip from Evercoat. It's badass, I, I like it. 
Um, like I said, that's really textured right there. I'm gonna continue sanding this up here. This is already dry, I can start sanding this, but I wanna get this going as well. So I can just sand all this, make it smooth. Gotta finish this in three weeks for, before I go to school, so I got a lot of work to do. All right, guys, well, <clears throat> I sanded everything like this. I took most of the paint off. Um, I got all this right here. And all this up here. So far, that's what I've done. Anyways, AJ and his son, we're gonna remove the bumpers, the front and back. Well, I get this done, but uh, the bolts were really rusted on there, and they ended up snapping. You know. snapping off so he said just let him worry about it he, him and the son will get it but anyways that's what I've done today I just finished putting the, the bond on that and once again it's a real thin layer uh, the body is really straight I'm not trying to build up anything yes it has some imperfections but this light thin coat of uh, bondo will, should do it other than that, I might send this and I'll, I'll probably head home. Go shower up and go to bed. Gotta wake up early in the morning, so. Thanks for watching.